I've been a bad girl. I've done some bad things, like scamming kids with my mom and repeating a cycle of abuse. If you didn't recognize that wonderful melody, then you might not be on the internet recently, because that was Jojo Siwa's latest hit, Karma is a Bitch. Huh, sound familiar, Jojo? How's karma working out? Is it a bitch? Because it sure does seem like it is for you right now. Okay, so this is probably like the 10th video you've seen on this topic, so I'm gonna try to go through the history pretty quickly. So Jojo Siwa is a dance star who originally started in the TV show Dance Moms. I think before that she was on like Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition, but same fucking thing. Jojo became known on Dance Moms, but it wasn't really until she started YouTube and kind of moved on from it that people actually started to recognize her and she started to create not only a brand, but really an empire. I mean, you gotta give the girl credit. She is a fucking female girl boss. She really did make money by putting her face on everything and that says something. She was able to handle her fame in a way where she could make money and somewhat keep her private life to herself. However, recently, Jojo has, um, changed? First of all, before I even start the commentary on this, <laughs> Do you smell that? It smells to me like planned. Arr, sound the alarms. This sounds like it was a big old plan. I'm calling it right now. I think this is a farce, a scam, a farce, a hooli, a holly, a I don't know what, but it's definitely not the real Jojo for sure. Recently, Jojo Siwa has decided to put her child fan base completely to the side, no longer considering it a part of her world. No pun intended. She's attempting to do this like Nickelodeon Disney star transformation where all of a sudden she's an adult and she's not for kids anymore. She's emo even though she doesn't look emo she just looks like a wwe star which honestly jojo that's kind of the path i could see you going on she posted these pictures of basically a warning that says this is no longer a kids channel this is now gonna be an adult channel there's gonna be sex and violence and it's gonna get freaking crazy up in here um except for the fact that it didn't as a former emo kid if you want to see that that. Yes, I do have pictures. Check my Instagram at Aislinn Walker. As a former emo kid, I'm actually kind of offended at Jojo Siwa's representation of where I came from. I did not stay up all night in my bedroom till 3 a.m. watching girls cut and dye their hair with razor blades and home box dye so that you could shit on emo like this. And one of the funniest things to me is the fact that this album was actually produced by Disney. Disney Channel writers? Which leads me on to a point that I want to make to you beautiful audience here tonight that I don't think this is gonna be a forever thing. If you don't know, Jojo Siwa has recently got up to some uh, gulp gulp issues with her mother and some of her former dance team members. Jojo decided to make a group filled with kids that would be like a child-friendly dance team kind of thing, I guess, I don't know too much about it, called XOMG Pop. She started this group with her mom and eventually it kind of came to a fallout until recently, um, sort of before all of this Jojo metalhead shit started happening where the mother and the daughter made a live stream saying Jojo and her mom basically treated us like shit. They weren't accommodating towards disabilities, which by the way, fuck you for that. They were just being basically very authoritarian and just not good leaders and pretty much continuing that cycle that Abby Lee Miller uh, did to Jojo. Because of these allegations, there's been a little bit of a shit storm that has been a brewing for uh, Jojo here, which is why I feel like her and her team have decided to go this weird route of trying to do a Miley Cyrus X breakout, I guess is a way to put it. All these flashing images and lights and funny haha, <laughs> Jojo Siwa's crazy, right? Is actually most likely probably a distraction from the other things that are going on um, and 
I don't blame her team for that. That's their job. That's what they're supposed to do. I just think this is all very interestingly timed. Honestly, it just comes down to Jojo and her mom not being professional. And if that's the case, then that should have been handled within her and her mom or the company. It should never have even been brought up to YouTube. The fact that it was brought to YouTube probably means that the parents didn't have anywhere else to go. I'm not sure. This is, again, YouTube and reality TV at the end of the day, which is night. So I'm not sure who's really fully in the right. Maybe no one is. Another thing I keep seeing about this sudden JoJo CY transformation is people bringing up the fact that she is gay. Now what I don't want to see uh, and what we are going to do here is uh, bring the fact that Jojo Siwa is gay into this. I haven't seen many people do this, just a couple, but it's weird. It's like they're pre trying to assume that she's pretending to be gay. I can tell you, I don't think this woman is pretending to be gay. I really don't. Um, if you think that, uh, cool, but like, let's maybe check off the YouTube and check back into reality for a quick sec, because... Uh, 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 no. Also seeing former parents and fans criticizing JoJo for still talking to kids. Listen, she still has a fan base that is children. Those videos are going to live on. Her merch is still going to be sold in stores, okay? So is Hannah Montana to this day. JoJo is allowed to say hello to kids, okay? That, that has nothing to do with this transformation. It, it has shouldn't even be in the picture. I also see JoJo specifically comparing this to like a Miley Cyrus Demi Lovato type thing. I don't think it is at all, okay? She's clearly very in control of this situation, very in her right head, and it seems very calculated and planned to me, not in a bad way, but it's very down to it. Whereas Miley and all, all the other people, they were sudden, they were pushed to a point, you, you kind of could see that in real time happening, whereas Jojo, it's like, okay, we know you're gonna be back in a couple weeks. I think Jojo's gonna be back to her normal Jojo within a couple months to maybe a couple years. She has already stated on podcasts and interviews that I've seen that she doesn't intend on leaving that world forever, or at least she implied it. I'll try to find some clips. She's not completely tearing the past. She's not saying I'm not a Disney kid anymore and walking away. She's just sort of saying, put that on pause. I'm gonna do this. Haha, <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? back to my usually scheduled uh, money making. Now I could be wrong and if Jojo uh, turns into like motionless and white after this, you can come back and tell me I was wrong. I give you permission, no I fucking don't you thought. But what I will give you permission to do is just wait and maybe come back once Jojo <laughs> maybe does go back to being kid friendly and say I was right. All in all this to say that this is all just a big distraction uh, from what's actually happening in the world and this is nothing new. This has been going on for years in Hollywood and music and all of that and YouTube even. Um, it's just kind of funny with Jojo. Oh also I have to talk about the clip of her cutting someone off in traffic because like that shit's so funny. Now, it's LA. It's Sunset Boulevard. So I understand. Driving, I get it. Jojo cutting you off in traffic in her car with her face covered up, like, I'd piss. I'd be done. That would be it. That would be my sanctuary. I would be in heaven, I think. That's awesome. That's the funniest fucking story anyone could tell around the fire, in my opinion. But anyways, tell me, what did you think? Do you think JoJo Siwa's faking? Do you think she's covering something up? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I'm trying to do this commentary style where it's a little bit more quick and just kind of giving the information and my thoughts on it. So let me know. If you want me to maybe put more information or some more time into these, let me know. Um, but f I think it's fun just to have these little quick kind of spouts of information on your screen with me. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, show that beat.